And we begin now with major developments overnight from Washington, D.C. The White House says it has reached a deal on this uh, bipartisan stimulus package to help jolt the struggling economy as the novel coronavirus pandemic continues. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky joins us now. She is at Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's office right here in Lexington. She has the latest on this coronavirus coverage. Chris, that's right. The news of this historic proposal broke just before 2 a.m. this morning. After days of marathon negotiations, one of the most expensive and far reaching measures in the history of Congress was proposed to the tune of two trillion dollars. Full details have yet to be released. The breakdown on the legislation Congress is set to vote on today looks like this. $350 billion in small business loans, $250 billion in unemployment insurance benefits, $500 billion in loans for distressed companies, and $250 billion for direct payments to individuals and families. Individuals who earn $75,000 in adjusted gross income or less would receive a direct payment of $1,200. Married couples earning up to 150,000 would receive 2400 with an additional $500 per child. The payment would cap out at 99,000 for singles and 198,000 for couples without children. In effect, this is a wartime level of investment into our nation. The men and women of the greatest country on earth are going to defeat this coronavirus and reclaim our future. And the Senate's going to make sure they have the ammunition they need to do it. After five days of arduous negotiations, after sleep-deprived nights and marathon negotiating sessions, we have a bipartisan agreement on the largest rescue package in American history. This is not a moment of celebration, but one of necessity. Now, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says that he expects this package to pass later today. If it does pass, this will become the third round of emergency legislation for Congress to pass on the novel coronavirus. Chris, back to you. Claire, thank you.